And honestly, he just wanted someone to smoke his crack. But you're not ready to do that in my brother car. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, today I'm going to be doing a mukbang. A Chick-fil-A mukbang. Firstly, I'm going to tell you my Chick-fil-A order. So... I always get the spicy deluxe chicken meal, chicken sandwich meal, medium fries, pepper jack cheese on a sandwich, and Polynesian sauce. Usually they have it in like a box. It's one of the very times they put it in a little bag. I don't like the bags, I like the boxes. Today, McBang, I'm going to be telling this story time. About the time this crackhead broke into my brother car. Yeah. Damn, open. Okay. Let me eat a little bit first. Mmm. He fucking that shit up. Oh, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Stop, y'all. Y'all are being mean. Eat, 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 eat. Ugly. They never miss. I'm trying to enjoy this because this is the first time I had Chick fil A since I moved out here. So I'm enjoying it. So, a crackhead broke into my breath of car. This is how the story went. So I'm in the house, mind you, my brother wasn't in the house. My brother's outside. It's like nighttime, but it's not too late. I'm not even sure what time it was really, but I know it's probably like eight or nine probably. So in the back of my house, like the way my house was set up, you can see like the neighbor's backyard. And like we would see him when he come out. He used to have a dog back there. So we see that soon. And we had a big gate surrounding our house, like a big fence. I'm in the, I'm in my room chilling. I don't even know what I was doing at the time. I hear somebody ring the doorbell. I'm like, okay, let me go see who is it. Who's at the door? Open the door. I see is the neighbor from the back of my house. Like his, the one who lived, whose backyard is right there. Like our backyard right here. It's the alley, and his backyard is right there. So him, I see him. He's like, yeah. Um, he said, where your father at? I was like upstairs. He was like. Somebody just broke into the somebody just broke into y'all backyard. <laughs> I said, What? You for real? Yeah, somebody just broke into your backyard. Oh, yeah, I just saw them. That's why I got he got in his truck. And he um drove over so they wouldn't know we he saw them break into our backyard. But I straight go all the way upstairs and I tell my uncle. And I told him, I'm like, yeah, he just said somebody broke his cell backyard. He's like, what? Yeah, so he grabbed the tool. <laughs> and then we go down, we go out to the kitchen. The kitchen, we have a kitchen door that goes to the backyard. So we go down to the kitchen. It's mind you, it's dark outside and it's the summertime. So I turn on my flashlight. So we can see, so we just standing on the balcony and I'm looking around like, seeing if there's at this, like the, this part of our backyard by the balcony. So we looking around to see, mind you, the house that was next door to us, my uncle had sold that. So we was making sure it wasn't somebody who bought the house and you know, was just there. So we looking around, nobody in this part. And that part, when you get down the stairs, it's just like, nothing like it's just like grass and stuff like regular ground and grass so it's like nothing so on our backyard we had some cars parked back there and some cars including my brother car his bro my brother car was parked back there but his car was on the grass so in our backyard we had a peach tree and we had in the front of the house it was some um cherry blossoms and we also had this fig bush and we had our grill back there. So we walk in 
I'm I'm like I'm still looking around with the flashlight, like, like making sure like I don't like if I see anybody move, I could tell him. So yeah, I'm walking with the flashlight like this. And then my brother, mind you, my brother's car is parked right here. So we walking on the grass, we closer to his car. I see a head moving in his car when I was moving the flashlight like this. I see a head moving, like somebody moving around in there. I said, somebody in his car. What? My uncle straight pointed at him. My, my, mind you, my uncle was closer. And the person, he was actually in the passenger side of the car, not the driver's side. So he was just sitting there. And then my uncle, like, had a clean head shot of him, for real. So, we wanted to make sure it wasn't my brother in there. Because my brother liked to go in his car and smoke. So we just wanted to make sure, I mean, like... I just wanted to make sure, you know, that's not him in there smoking. So my uncle told him, like, come outside. He was scared, obviously. He got a gun pointed at you. He was scared. So he came outside. His hands was like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm scared. He said, I'm just a little kid. Um, He looked like a grown-ass man. He definitely looked older than me. And he was a crackhead. So we were just sitting there like, I was questioning him too. I'm like, I said, what? Why are you in here? Why are you in a car? How are you getting here? And he, like, he, a part of our fence, it's like wooden plates. So a part of our fence was broken. So he just, like, squeezed in through that part. And honestly, he just wanted somewhere to smoke his crack. But you're not ready to do that in my brother's car. And he wasn't trying to fight us or nothing. And my uncle kept the gun on him the whole time. And walked him and was telling him, like, the back, back up so he could walk out of our gate at the front entrance of the gate. So he was just telling him, keep going, go to the left, keep going, go to the left, go to the left, go to the right. That was that. Lift it up, push it open, lift it up, push it open. He left out. And we was just sitting there like, what the hell? <laughs> Definitely fixed that part of the gate the day after. Cause what? That was really the story. He broke into the car so he could smoke some crack. I can't blame him for wanting to smoke his crack, but you're not ready to smoke your crack in my brother's car. Mind you, it's this big ass gate. Why you ain't just smoke your crack outside the gate? Why you ain't going to the alley? Why you had to climb into private property to smoke your crack? No. He said he really wanted to be alone. He wanted to enjoy that. <laughs> Oh yeah, but in the, in his car, in my brother's car, he was looking for stuff in, in there. He was looking for stuff in there, but it's like it wasn't nothing in there because my brother wasn't driving his car. That's why I was on the grass. My brother was driving the car. The most that was in there was a ripped ten dollar bill or something, and it's not even a whole ten dollar bill. It's only half of it, and he ain't had no radio in there either. So it's like he couldn't steal nothing out of there because it wasn't nothing in there to steal. I was like, dang, breaking all in out property. I'm like, mm, just to smoke some crack. Okay, but yeah, that's in the, the story time, y'all. It was very short because it was very, it was very short. It was a very short altercation of like basically you just told him get out and don't come back. And I was like, yeah, I was questioning him, like, because what the fuck? What are you doing? How did you get in here? Why are you coming? Why are you come in here just to smoke some crack? <laughs> like, you could do that anywhere else, outside. You break into our backyard to smoke your crack. It was chilling in there, too. He was chilling. Like, when I put first with the flashlight on him, he was like, like, that's when he saw us. Because I'm like... He probably like, how the fuck they know I broke in there? <laughs> That's in this story time. I hope you guys liked it. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more. <laughs> um, I don't really have any other story times, but you can watch my other ones. I'll put a playlist up. Bye. Yeah.